Meantime, a story now about a, a rare find out along the beach near Port Aransas. A, a local marine biologist ended up discovering one of those messages in a bottle. Turns out that bottle had been on quite a journey in the Gulf of Mexico for the last three years. Our Bill Churchwell reports. We're just cruising the beach and seeing what we can find. You never know what the waves will end up bringing in. For Jace Tunnel, it was this, a real message in a bottle. Whenever I picked it up, I looked at it and I could tell that there was a drawing in there. Tunnel making the discovery in the days that followed Hurricane Laura in the Gulf. He was conducting a beach survey out on Mustang Island when the bottle caught his attention. Getting the rolled up letter out of the bottle, though, proved to be a challenge. What I ended up doing was waiting a few days till the AC kind of dried it out and then sure enough it just uh, slipped right on out. Once out the mystery behind who sent it became clear. The message dated November 15th 2017. It starts out dear person who finds my bottle. My name is Evan Wurzel. Turns out the author is a fourth grade student from Mandeville Louisiana and threw the bottle into the ocean as part of his science class where they were learning about ocean currents. I was able to track down that student who is now a seventh grader and asked him about the letter. I thought it was very cool that wherever the bottle was all these three years eventually ended up in Texas. For a few years, I didn't think it was going to be found because all my classmates were found and mine never was. Jay says he was also able to speak with that 12 year old. I'm hoping that th he remembers this, uh, you know, out into the future. And my real hope is since he had drawn up this map of the ocean currents is that someday he'll be a marine biologist like myself. This isn't the first message in a bottle Jace has discovered. It's just one more to add to a shelf. So if you want to be lucky enough to find one of those messages in a bottle for yourself, you got to get out there early before the sun comes up. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.